in pedology or soil soil science after the study of the soil genesis we study its properties and distribution of soil all over world distributions are of two types number one horizontal distribution from equator to pole and the second is vertical distribution vertical distribution means with increasing depth the soil nature and character changes and this is termed as soil profile virtually profile is a very common term which is generally used for the profile of a politician for example in life of politician there is ups and downs profile of a topography or mountain wherein we show the height and depth with the help of profile serial superimposed composite projected profile of a students career for example marks of high school inter ba ma and profile of heartbeat profile of economy but here the soil profile stands for the vertical zonation of the soil having different characters soil profile has a type of segments or layers number 1 is a a layer which starts from a1 to a3 the second layer is b from b1 to b3 the third layer beneath the b is c layer and below the c it is d layer consisting of underlying rocks which are not disintegrated or weathered thus these are the base for the entire vertical zonation or soil profile now let us study these separately a00 stands for loose loose leaves and organic debris here if you travel on foot in forested area in agricultural land uh, you feel that the loose leaf are the agricultural biomass are the plant forest leaf grass leaves are found there and some organic material in the form of debris is there which is not completely decomposed and some soil and mud is mixed with it below it lies a0 which is partly decomposed organic debris means the leaves and organic debris are here but these are partly decomposed while the a00 had not decomposed there were only loose leaf now below a0 it is a1 layer which is dark color rich in organic matter why dark color because the rain water carries down the decomposed chemicals and physical particles downward and it is deposited in a1 layer that's why this color has dark this soil has dark dark color and it has rich organic matter where from that organic matter is brought down it is from a00 and a0 by rain water or any water below a1 layer it is a2 layer which has light color not so dark as a1 had and zone of leaching of colloids and organic matter here the organic matter and colloids whatsoever are present these are being leached down to the b layer leaching by water which percolates and it is also zone of eluvation which we will study in detail and this a2 zone is absent in chernozem and chestnut category of soil 
Chernozem is a soil largely found in the temperate grassland in North Hemisphere, for example, steppe and prairie. And it is grassland, that's why the soil profile is not being developed exactly or perfectly. And chestnut soil is found just in the south of that Chernozem soil belt. After A2, below it, it is A3, it is transition to B, but more like A than B. It means we can draw line between A3 and B1, but in nature there is no line, rather these two are in mixed form. But the characteristic of A3 resembles more to A than to B. Now, after A layer comes B. B has also three sub-layers B1, that is top layer. B1 is a transition to A, but more like B than A. B has distinct qualities resembling mostly with the B layer, but it has some characters of A3 because of its proximity and interconnection. A3 and B1 are interconnected by soil genesis process or pedogenic process that is the alluviation and alluviation in other words leaching and capillary action and calcium carbonate or gypsum in Chernozem. Chernozem yes. In Chernozem. But its characteristic is in Chernozem soil, it is rich in calcium carbonate and gypsum. Why calcium carbonate? Because these are the grasses having calcium carbonate in a rich amount. That's why in Chernozem this soil is found. Below it, it is deeper colored. It is deep colored zone of maximum accumulation of colloids. Here, colloids are accumulated largely. Where from these colloids come? These are brought down by the filtration process or the leaching process. And the bottom soil of B is B3 layer, which is transition to C. Transition to C means it is adjacent to C. Thus, the characteristic of C is with B3 and some characters of B3 are mixed with C. But there is not so much mixing as mixing between A3 and B1 because these two are loose while B3 is loose and C is not so much loose. Rather, C is really the weathered parent matter. Virtually, D is completely parent matter in its original form, which is called bedrock or base, while the C is weathered because this D is not affected by the climatic or atmospheric conditions because of its lower position, while this C is being affected by the atmospheric or climatic conditions because up to B, the warm water, which is warm or cool, comes down up to here and brings down a type of colloids and chemicals by leaching. And during summer, from here, the water goes up, carrying all the chemicals through capillary action and leaves that behind here and water is evaporated. Thus, the sea is under the impact of the atmospheric temperature, water and other conditions. That's why sea is weathered and sea is a gley type of soil, gley layer in especially bog and meadow soil. What is gley? Well, some water is permanently there in bog and meadow soil, fen, 
or marshland that is called glacial the water percolating down from a and b layers sometimes it stays here for some time and it rarely comes in hydrological cycle that's why it is called gla layer now after understanding the different layers we can generalize that this a00 and a are not soil layers rather these are the accumulation of either partly decomposed leaf and organic matter or uh, these are either loose leaf and organic matter or partly decomposed debris and leaves real soil starts from a1 and there are mainly two layers in soil from a1 to a3 this is zone of eluvation e l u v i a t i o n eluvation means zone of leaching leaching means the rain water from this zone percolates down and carries the soluble minerals and chemicals with it to b zone this process is called leaching and this is in soil science term zone of eruvation the leached material may be chemical or physical particles are being deposited in b layer b1 b2 and b3 and when it is deposited here it is called zone of illu vision i l l u here e l u spelling is different thus here the chemicals and microphysical particles organic materials are being deposited but not permanently because after rainy season certainly summer will come during summer when temperature will high first the water of a layer will go up for evaporation then the water of b layer b1 b2 b3 will also move upward along with the chemicals and soluble minerals up this is called capillary action and that material will be left behind in a layer and water will get evaporated thus these two layers are very much active and these two layers are called true soil or solum collectively a and b or solum or true soil or real soil and here in this bit here between a and b the pedogenic process works it is it keeps the soil fertility in balance for example in tropical region especially in our monsoon climate in india and in world during rainy season the capillary action or leaching process takes place but during summer season the leaching process takes place but during the summer season the water moves from b layer to e layer means capillary action takes place thus the fertility of soil moves between a zone and b zone this keeps soil in balance and soil fertility is maintained naturally likewise we the indian living in tropical conditions experience this type of leaching and this type of capillary reaction means perspiration during scorching heat so this is about the two zones of soil contrary to it in the equatorial climatic conditions throughout year there is rainfall and this rainfall causes leaching throughout year and leached material from a horizon is deposited to b horizon permanently that's why a horizon lacks chemicals and fertile and fertile elements of soil hence here food grain crops 
are not produced only large size trees and plantation crops are possible because those plants insert their long roots up to this b horizon of soil and there they get sufficient nutrients and chemicals for their growth likewise in hot desert climates where there is less rain the chemicals are in a zone those are not percolated or leached down below that's why the hot areas climate is calcium rich calcification process takes place there and it is saline soil so this is about the description of the soil profile means vertical zonation of soil and the vertical zones differ from climate to climate and from laterite from equatorial lateritic soil zone to taiga parjol zone and for the development of this soil profile a long time is needed where in the climatic or atmospheric or pedogenic process take sufficient time to develop it otherwise the regolith and regosols are developed in situ on plateau within a very short period of time and when we have to take a sample of soil study we don't take that sample from this a00 or a0 rather we go below this b3 layer soil which is not cultivated and which is not affected by the chemicals other natural either natural or man induced chemicals because even man induced chemicals used in agriculture also percolate down and reach here that's why today all over world soil is suffering from arsenic problem arsenic means chemicals chemical fertilizers pesticide herbicide fungicide rodenticide used in this top layer of soil filter down here thus all the arsenic and pollutants uh, move between as a and b soil zone so this is about the soil profile of the it is about the soil profile uh, it is about the vertical zone of soil and soil profile